What happened in the previous chapter was that our comrades gave their last efforts to stop the eldest child of Innocent Zero, Doom. They used their own magic to protect each other. However, Doom suddenly compressed his arm muscles and released an extraordinary swing. That swing caused a massive destruction in their surroundings and all our comrades got hit. Meanwhile, in Meliadal's clinic, it was shown that she, along with Kaldo, Lemon, Ochoa, and a character I couldn't recognize, were fervently winding up Masha's key. They managed to increase Masha's life meter to 40, which changed the appearance of our protagonist. Then slowly it rose and reached 50. Meanwhile, Mash seemed like someone who's possessed. In the battle, while severely injured, Raya released a massive amount of energy. His bond transformed and he summoned the God of Lights, Hyperion, and his bond seemed to transform into a cool staff. He immediately used his thirds magic, Light's thirds, Hyperion inclination, and summoned Hyperion. He released Genesis Crisis and it flew towards Doom. As it approached, Doom used 80% of his power. Doom prepared himself to counter Ryo's thirds magic. When Doom swung, he hit Ryo and it struck the left side of his body. It was also shown that just because of that one attack, even Ryo's strongest magic was destroyed. When the smoke cleared, Doom was shown posing as if he had just finished attacking. Just as Doom was about to kill Ryo, a silhouette appeared from the door at the top of the stairs. Finally, our hero arrived and said he made it in time. After Mash gave his friends cream puffs to lighten their mood, in the end, he said so anyways, they could now leave it to him. What's up, Onichan? Welcome back to our manga recap series about Mashal, magic and muscles. A story that mixes elements from Harry oh. Potter and One Punch Man. So let's start the video. In the continuation of the thrilling story of Mash within the world filled with magic, we return to his arrival at the battlefield. The two siblings stared at each other intensely while the place was enveloped in a terrifying aura. Even our beaten comrades were captivated by the face-off happening. Meanwhile, in Innocent Zero's livestream, people were still watching. They commented that even the Light's visionary couldn't defeat Doom, so what hope does someone without magic have there? They were scared and said it was their end. Before long, Doom asked Mash what he was waiting for and challenged him. Our protagonist was just standing there. But in the blink of an eye, his fist was in front of Doom. However, Doom was able to dodge the quick attack that surprised him. Doom countered and punched Mash with his sword in response to his sudden charge. Doom commented that Mash was overconfident in his power. This overconfidence was preventing him from seeing the truth. He said that the strongest magic user in the world is no Mash for him. He claimed to have already defeated Mash using only half of his power. So does Mash still believe he can defeat him without magic? He claimed to have done everything he wanted so it was pointless to fight someone he knew was weak. Mash wasn't talking, so Doom just stared. Our hero seemed to be gritting his teeth and his eyes were shining fiercely. In the blink of an eye, Mash punched Doom in the body so hard that it shook his world. The punch was so strong that it buried itself in him. The contraction of Doom's muscles was visible on his face due to the strength of the punch. Mash even lifted him off the ground. The people were stunned by that event. Even our comrades were shocked at that. They couldn't believe what our protagonist showed. The people were shocked and their faces were unreadable. With a single punch from Mash, Doom kneeled in pain. Even the monster felt the impact of that incredibly powerful attack. The people couldn't believe it and commented that Mash made Doom kneel with just one punch. How did he do that when others couldn't even do it together? Suddenly, Doom vomited blood and couldn't stop it. He couldn't believe he was brought to his knees like that. Our hero moved his hand and Doom was puzzled. Mash taunted Doom and told him to stand up. Doom stared and tightly gripped his sword. He immediately charged and thought to himself that it was going to be fun. As he charged, Mash punched him again. It hit his face with an extraordinary force. He flew back like a bug being flicked. He was gasping there and kneeled again. Mash challenged him again while he was still vomiting blood. Mash said that he hurt his friends. He told Doom to stand up while gesturing with his hands. Doom just stared. Mash continued to urge Doom to stand up while he just stared at him. Doom decided to use 90% of his power. 
he suddenly moved in front of our hero and positioned himself to punch Mash. It hit Mash, causing him to fly. With such strength, our hero bounced back against the wall. Doom's attack didn't end there, and he immediately grabbed Mash's face. He rubbed it hard, causing the floor to break. He grabbed his head again and repeated the action, rubbing it against the floor. Dot, Lance, and Finn were worried as their friend was being beaten up. Doom gave the final rub and after that, he said that Mash's showing off was more than enough to prove himself to him. While the floor was smoking, Dot commented that Mash was able to overpower Doom earlier, but it was quickly reversed. He didn't know if… Uh, I don't know either. He didn't continue. A shadow appeared in the smoke. Mash said, oopsie daisy, and Finn stared. It turned out that our hero was okay. Now for the first time in this story, Finn failed to fully witness the events with Mash. Orter was the one who saw the entire incident and explained that Mash used the breakfall technique. Finn exclaimed, what? He said that it was controlled falling. You can disperse the damage you receive by increasing the surface area of the impact point. He was sure that Mash did the equivalent of a body wave dance while he was falling. Then Finn shouted, I didn't see that. Using his inherent athleticism, Mash made a frighteningly smooth contact with the ground, which resulted in him not getting injured. Finn commented, is that even possible? The people there were amazed and their hopes rose again. Meliadal stated that Mash had become stronger than they had expected. Suddenly, Mash spoke and said that now it was his turn. He prepared and said, femur flex. Meliadal explained that our hero had two weaknesses. The first one is that he restrains himself because he is concerned about his target. And the second one is that he's training without a solid understanding of how the body works. Mash continued to prepare and said, hip joint abduction. Meliadal added that running uses the psoas muscles and hamstrings, and pitching requires quadriceps and dorsal muscles. Mash continued to get into form and said left shoulder extension, left elbow bend, and forearm twist. Suddenly, Doom charged and said that Mash was too free and he hit him on the shoulder. Meliadal stated that understanding your own body allows a person to maximize their capabilities to an astonishing degree. Mash tightened his fist and released the biomechanics cannon on Doom, which hit him solidly in the body. And it didn't stop there. He followed it up with pronation. Doom was blown away by Mash's powerful attack. The area where Doom was thrown was destroyed, causing a massive hole in the building. Finn commented, all of that came from our hero's training? It's hard to believe that the culprit is just muscles and nothing else. That's not realistic. Lance commented that by accumulating such great power, he's open to attack, but because of his stoned body, he was able to endure it and deliver a single clean hit. Rain agreed, thinking that if Doom could still stand after that, he didn't know what to say. The destroyed layers of that place were shown, caused by Mash's super punch. Among the debris, Doom was shown covered by it. The camera slowly moved closer to him showing his fiercely glaring eyes. Before long, he stood up again while being watched by our hero. As he walked, people were focusing on him. Doom stood like a powerful boss in a video game at the top of the stairs. He stared intensely at Mash. Mash was just staring at him. Finn couldn't believe it. In his mind, Mash is very strong now, but he still can't injure Doom. Doom questioned that he's at 90% but is that all Mash can do? He said he expected better, so he's disappointed in Mash. He thought Mash would be a good match for him, but it ends there. Mash cuts in and said that nobody told Doom to impose his expectations on him. He should just keep his disappointments for his loved ones, not for him. He's making this situation weird. In the end, Doom stared as if he was holding back, making Finn think that Mash had finally irritated him. And that's where this video ends. Do you think Doom is really irritated with Mash? If yes, what do you think he will do in retaliation? Write your comments down below. If you want more anime and manga recaps, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with new videos.